check something here real quick. Yeah, it's right. like, uh, probably going to be playing without Malik. What, what are your thoughts on that going into a game against somebody like Virginia? Um, we just got to adjust. Uh, we played one game without Malik. Um, I think it went, went pretty well. I think we just got to step up the plate. Uh, one through five, everybody got to step up a little bit more and do a little more. Um, and just be locked in for 40 minutes. Coach Max said that you're like a computer on offense because you can kind of plug you in on a any position and you know what to do. When you know that you're going to be playing the five a lot because either Steve is, is a little off or, or Malik is hurt, do you make it a point in practice to focus on more of that or is that just something that comes naturally to you? Um, I think, first of all, Malik and Steve do a good job of telling me what to do. Um, in practice, so in practice, I get a lot of confidence on the spots on where to be. Um, I also think it's important for me to just play my game when I go to the five, um, just mix it up a little bit, you know, go down low, uh, step out a little bit, and just kind of keep the defense honest. You said adjust the Malik. Are you talking mostly about the five or six of you or whatever playing better or what? For sure. I think uh, once you have a, a player like Malik who, you know, goes out of the lineup, I think everybody got to step up uh, on both sides of the ball, um, whether they score more points. Um, being better on defense, um, being more vocal on defense. I think we all just got to step it up a notch without Malik. Is he able to practice at all? Um, I think today he might try. I'm not honestly not quite sure. I think today he might try and see what happens. What went right for you guys? I mean, you scored 80 points against the, the best defensive team in the country. Um, I think we came out hot. I think Darius got us started with some nice threes. Um, I think we also got some stops, which led to us getting out in transition and getting some open shots as well. Um, but we play Virginia. I think it's important that you just, you know, grind it out. It's going to be a slow-paced game. Uh, I feel like you just can't let, let that affect you and just play good basketball for 40 minutes. Dwayne, do you have to kind of expect a different game because you guys were so hot and then Wolden Tensai or Tensei got hot in the second half for them? Do you almost have to expect that it's not going to be that way this time around? Um, I feel like that's possibly correct. I feel like it might not be in the 80s uh, going to John Paul Jones Arena. Um, but I feel like if we play our game, you know, share the ball and get out in transition, we can definitely score some points against them. Um, I also think it's a matter of um, not let the pace get to us. Maybe just play our game, uh, use the shot clock, and take great shots. When you say not let the pace get to you, can it be a little, I don't know what the word would be, but uh, frustrating or, for lack of a better term, boring to play at that at the pace? Uh, to be honest, no. Um, you know, playing Virginia, their style is always going to take over. They're going to walk it up, you know, take the shot clock down. I think it's important for us to just to stay together, um, get great shots, and not rush things, and take uh, advantage of every possession we get. Do you feel better going into into this game? This, you hadn't beaten them in nine times. Now you've beaten them. Yeah. Is there a confidence factor involved in that? Uh, I would say so. Uh, you know, always beating the team once definitely gives you some added confidence. Um, <clears throat> however, we know Virginia's a good team. Um, we just got to go down, down with the right, right mindset and take care of business. Wayne, how big is it to have – a conference, a part of the conference championship on the line, and how much motivation or extra motivation does that give you guys? Um, it's definitely a lot of motivation. Um, I know earlier in the season, Coach Mack uh, preached how hard would you play if it was for an ACC championship. Um, here we are, 40 minutes away uh, for a chance to be, you know, ACC champions. I think it's just important for us to, you know, don't be, don't get nervous, don't do anything uh, out of character, and just play a little basketball for 40 minutes. I know you heard the glue guy thing a million times. Do you embrace that, or do you see any kind of backhanded compliment in that? Uh, I don't really pay attention to it, honestly. It's just kind of in one or out the other. Um, I just kind of do whatever it takes for my team to win. If that's the glue guy, then so be it. Um, I just kind of take that approach every time I step on the court and just have fun with it. Clark has been around Their inside guys uh, have been playing good lately. Mm -hmm. But Clark is so different from those two and different from most players. What is the challenge with, with him? And how's he able to get the rim like he does? Uh, I think Kihei Clark has a good stop and go game. Uh, I thought like he stands, stands a lot of guys up with his hesitation dribble. Um, then he gets downhill and he has a uh, array of finishes around the rim, uh, whether that's floaters, re reverse layups. Um, I think he's also a very good passer. Uh, so when he gets in there, he does a good job of throwing lobs to Diakite and also spraying the ball out to good shooters like Wooden Tese or uh, Braxton Key. Do, do Huff and Diakite change the game? I mean, they've got two big guys underneath, rim protectors, so to speak. Uh, I think they change the game for sure. You know, when you go in our, down there with Jay Huff, um, he can block your shot at any time. Uh, I think against Duke, he might have had 10 blocks. Um, I think when you go down there, you just got to be aggressive. 
Um, then at times you got to make sure you shot fake and get them in the air and try to draw a foul as well. There have been, I think, seven number one teams this year. You've been one of them. You're ranked 10th going into the last week of the regular season. Do you feel you're in a position where you can make a run at the title? Uh, for sure. I think if we play a little basketball for 40 minutes, uh, which involves defense, sharing the ball, um, and communicating, then I feel like we can beat the top teams in the country. Um, I think it's just a matter of us doing that um, and staying locked in for sure. Do you look at the seed, the projected seedings at this point? I mean, getting real close, it's only a week until selection is uh, Personally, I haven't. Uh, but I'm sure the, the coaching staff might and uh, also some players. Um, I think it's important for us to just take it one game at a time. Um, you know, going down to Virginia, uh, take that one game at a time, and also go on to next week in the tournament. You said What's you said, it like in these conference tournaments? I mean, all these, you know, obviously all the teams are there. Do you guys get to interact much? And, and if so, what's that like? Um, from my experience of the past few years, there's not, there's not much interactions. Um, it's a lot of walkthroughs and shoot-arounds, uh, film, and right to the games. Um, I feel like that's, that's how you got to treat every game because it's basically practice for the tournament. Do you think it helped to have kind of this big break going into this this last game and then ACC? Um, I think it helped for sure, um, especially considering Malik's injury. Um, Malik's had a little bit of time to recover, um, get his ankle right, and hopefully that helps us uh, going into March for sure. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Man.